everyone, my name is Karis and welcome back to my channel, The Horse Next Door. This is probably one of my favorite videos I have ever made and I'm super excited to share with you guys. I have Melissa here with me today and she is from the channel The Horse Dream, which I definitely recommend that you guys all check it out. I love her vision for what she is wanting to do for people who basically dream about owning a horse and are basically horse lovers and horse crazy just like I am. So I'm gonna let Melissa introduce herself. Hey y'all, my name is Melissa. I own one horse and my channel is The Horse Dream. We are all about encouraging horse dreamers to make the horse dream their reality. I'm so excited to be collabing with Karis since we share a similar mindset on this topic. So thank you for having me on your channel, Karis. So the video that Melissa and I are doing today, and I am doing part two of this video, you can check out part one on Melissa's channel, but we are doing a video talking about why riding is not a priority for myself and is not a priority for Melissa. And this is something that we want to share with you. So here are some ideas of ways that you can spend time with your horse or why riding is not necessarily our priority and might give you guys something to think about too. My first experiences with horses was riding them, and I know there's so many others who had similar experiences. I wish my first experiences were learning the basis of groundwork and liberty related things. You can't be one with the horse without the groundwork, bond, and trust with the horse first. There's so much that can be learned on the ground from watching natural behavior and movement that might not be seen on horseback. So groundwork comes first. Another reason why riding a horse isn't necessarily my top priority is because horses are prey animals, which means that people, dogs, cats, are all predators. And horses are more akin to, say, bunny rabbits or squirrels. So when all you ever do is ride your horse, you develop this almost sort of uh, fear-like protection of the animal within themselves. They just want to protect themselves and they can all build up walls and you oftentimes have trouble communicating with your horse because of this. When you spend the time to get to know your horse on the ground and you're not just constantly riding it and behaving like a predator because let's face it, predators are things that chase other animals around, they tell them what to do and in harsh cases and extreme cases they hurt them. People are predators. It's hard for us to overcome those basic instincts. But if you spend some time with your horse on the ground, getting to know your horse, you'll develop trust with that horse. And trust is a really, really big and important part of who horses are as prey animals. If they can trust you and they can realize that you're a leader that is not going to put them in harmful situations, but rather take care of them in situations that make them feel stressed out or anxious. If you can show a horse that you're its leader, which is very, very difficult to do when you only ride your horse and that's all you ever do with it, it's very difficult to build up that bond of trust that your horse so dearly needs. But if you take that time on the ground to build up that trust with that horse, what you're going to be able to do afterwards when you do ride your horse is going to be amazing. And you don't even necessarily have to always be riding your horse. Sometimes it's amazing just to go out and be with a friend. Sometimes doing nothing with your horse is exactly what you should be doing because that's what they least expect you to do. Because let's face it, there aren't very many people that take the time to go out and spend time in the field being a friend with their horse and showing them that you're there to protect them and whatever may come their way. Another one of my reasons riding isn't a priority is exercise comes in many different forms. There are many different ways to exercise a horse that doesn't involve riding them. And many of those exercises involve both horse and owner working out together. For example, taking trails on foot instead of round panning is a great way to enjoy nature as you come across different things that you wouldn't necessarily find in a round pen and you both get exercise. Probably one of my favorite reasons why riding isn't everything I do is simply because groundwork is fun. I actually really, really love doing groundwork with my horses. I've gotten into doing liberty training with them lately, which is basically trick training. And it is really fun. Right now, I'm trying to teach Scotty how to bow. I have him to where we can be out in my giant field and he will follow me wherever we go. And it's so much fun. And there's so many more things that I want to teach him to do with that. Groundwork isn't just about building leadership or 
uh, stuff like that. It's really, it can be a lot about fun. I think a lot of people don't realize how much fun groundwork can be. I mean, you guys go out and try it and let me know what you guys think. Because I know that honestly, I love being with my horses on the ground just as much as I love riding and maybe even more than riding. One of my reasons why riding can be or is important is you get that next level trust and bond. Like I said before, groundwork is that first layer. When you finally get to ride and communicate on horseback, you're reaching that next level. Skipping steps to get here won't work fluidly and a horse that is in pain somewhere will add to a bad riding experience. But with a healthy, happy horse and relationship, riding can offer a new next level experience. Now, a reason why riding is important is that riding keeps us healthy. Not only just physically healthy, like we've seen all those advertisements and doctors tell us that we need to stay fit and active to be healthy and live long and happy lives, but also mentally healthy. If you think about it, there is a huge number and sheer amount of information that is thrown at us in our technology frenzy day today. You know, we're constantly on our phones, we're constantly seeing advertisements on TV, you're constantly driving down the road and seeing billboards advertising this and that. What riding does is that it creates a space that requires you to disconnect from all the information being thrown at your brain throughout every day. This is actually really, really healthy for you mentally. We need time to focus our brains in on one activity. Riding is a great way to do that. If you're not paying attention to your horse when you ride it, we all know that bad things happen. They require our full concentration. And it's also really hard to uh, look at your phone and ride your horse at the same time. That's just not gonna happen. And I don't recommend you do that. You know, a lot of times I will leave my phone, you know, inside my car, at home even, when I go riding because we need that break from technology. It's really, really important to take a break from technology on a regular and even daily basis. And besides that, horseback riding is also really healthy for you. I, I know a lot of you know that I volunteer at a therapeutic horseback riding barn. And one of the things that I've seen is just how amazing it is for your actual body. The I think it's the movement of the horses just allows you to use certain muscles and loosen up and connect and feel things that you don't normally do, especially when a lot of Americans live such sedentary lives that they do. Horses are just a great way to stay fit and active both mentally and physically, and I definitely recommend that you guys get out there and go riding because it's so healthy for you. So go out there and ride your horses and stay healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today of reasons why we think riding is not a priority and reasons why we do think riding is a priority. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts in the comments below, good or bad. I like to hear them, so let me know. And don't forget to check out the other half of this video on Melissa's channel, The Horse Dream. And don't forget to subscribe to her channel while you're over there because you guys are going to learn some amazing stuff over there and she's super encouraging, which I just love. So thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.